proud members of the Podbelly Network. What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, come on, you know I don't watch that shit. Why not? Too scared. No, no, it's just, what's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. Kim and Kat. Stay alive. Maybe. We did it. We're a horror movie comedy podcast. <laughs> we are going to tell you the entirety of a movie, spoilers and all. This week, I, Kimberly Burns, I'm going to try to stay alive. And I, Ketrin Porter, uh, am going to be the determiner of her life or death. Oh, no. Yes. Uh, before we do anything else. Gina holes out. Tits up. Tits up. Cheers. Cheers. It's a new 70 calorie white claw pineapple flavor. Ooh, how is it? Um, fucking delicious. Like a goddamn soda. I'm like a kid in a soda shop. Love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. Ketrin just yep. Just heard me try to open my kombucha for five minutes in the background off screen. You guys, it was so sad. (laughs) It was so sad. It's a very tiny, tiny cap. So the grip space is small. It's hard to open. She was so, she was trying so hard (laughs) and I couldn't do anything. It was very funny. It was very Uh, difficult. Hello. Hi. How are you? I am, am a person. I feel good today. Yeah, you had an, ex- you also had like an eventful week. Had a very you got, eventful week. Um, you got like 30% cooler. I guess so. I get 30% cooler. I got a <laughs> tattoo and a piercing. <laughs> like it was, it was almost, almost like too much cool to bear too quickly. I know. I, I like don't know if I'm cool enough. Like it doesn't, you I'm are. not sure if it fits my personality because now I have like a side shave. Here, I'll show our Sammy's on the video. Oh, this video Wrong is so way. confusing. So I got the <laughs> cartilage pierced there, which is a little owies with these headphones. And then I got this Ooh, tattoo yeah. on my arm. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Tell people what it says. Um. So my, I, when my grandmother passed away she died she lived to like 100 um and we were super 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 tight like I was like the last baby she raised my mama and um she uh I found like this letter in her stuff and it was like a letter from her to my pop-up in 1936 um so I think they were still dating at the time and maybe he was like away somewhere or something I don't know but um the end of it, the ver- I basically I got the very last paragraph like in her handwriting and it says, um, well, I think the pen is running dry. So be bad, good, careful. Select your own till we meet again. Yes. And leave the blondes alone. Love from your Marion. It's just so <laughs> cute. I just got goosebumps so even though cute. I like know it. It's so cute. Um, it's so cute. And like I obviously think of her as like a grandmother and slash like like I mean she like truly like raised me so like yeah like like I think of her as like a really sweet loving and all that and the reason I love this so much is because she's like sassy and fun yeah and like flirty yeah. and to be that yeah. way also in like 1936 is kind of like cool yeah um, and so when I found the letter I like lost my mind because I was like I don't know I just feel like this is like another connection um that we have that I didn't really know about as much you know what I mean um so I think it's really cool so I got it on like my inner upper arm um because he's a tattoo artist so he did it now for we both me. have our grandmas on our upper our upper hey left arm. hey <laughs> grandma <laughs> <laughs> that's our grandma arm um but yeah actually also my um my cousin passed away from cancer this week fuck cancer um but actually like I thought it was like really special because like me and E were like you know like setting up the whole tattoo and just hanging out and stuff and then um he like put it on my 
like the stencil on my arm and stuff. And he was like about to start the needle. And like right in that moment, I got a message from my mom that my cousin had passed away. And I just felt like it was like kind of like my mom telling me that she was with him and he was okay. So. I totally agree. The timing was too, too perfect. Yeah. So that was sweet. Yeah. Um, it's been a week. I also am officially off unemployment, I believe. Ah, mm. So I got to really figure out something to do with my life. <laughs> you should <laughs> sell your hands to I already do that. Websites. No, I already I mean, do I that. You should make lots of hand videos. I like already do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll figure it out. Um, it's going to be fine. Yeah. I also, uh, oh, this is what I was going to tell you earlier. So I went for a run today, found three quarters on the ground. No big deal. There's a shortage, people. How am I going to do my laundry? Hang on to that shit. You're going to end up having to, we're going to end up having to do our laundry like on a washboard. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, (laughs) And then I got home and I realized I forgot about my library appointment that I was so excited about. I was so excited about my damn library appointment, but I had to make it so far in advance. It was like a week later. And so, um, but I went anyway, cause it's like not that far away. And I was like 20 minutes late and they right. were cool. They still, have, they, I mean, they were like waiting for me to come. So yeah. Oh, uh, you probably made a librarian really sad for 20 minutes. Like she had an appointment <laughs> with you. No, she was very peppy when she answered. She was like, oh. hi. And she's like, oh, are you outside? Is this Kimberly? And I was like, it is. And she's like, we'll be right there. And I was like, okay. And then they gave me a little bag and it has some other, some other weird stuff in it. They get weird stuff? <laughs> well, there was like, like a flyer for like reading stuff or whatever. But then this little oh. box that looks like maybe it's playing cards, but I didn't open it yet. You didn't open it? No, should I open it right now? Yes. What could be in it? (laughs) I don't know. Oh my God. This is so, this is so exhilarating. I just can't imagine what could possibly be in there. What are the librarians handing out to you? Maybe it's a secret message. Maybe they're like, you guys, she's here. We need to get this message out to her. Oh no, she's 20 minutes late. Our plan. So Aww. it says summer Cute. reading challenge. Get in the game. Oh no! Maybe it's mm. a bunch of books to read, or it's playing cards. I'm not sure. Oh no! This is gonna be another kombucha oh, situation. No. Oh no! And I'm just here, powerless to help. <laughs> I'm powerless to help you open it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I just feel like feel embarrassed and pressured because everyone's watching me. Look at Hold her. On, she's I'm turning all red. Way. <laughs> wait, I need a scissors or something. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, wait. I don't want to break a nail. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to go a different way. Here we go. She's going in a different way, folks. <laughs> this is the kind of content you, you can expect on our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's playing cards. Oh, how fun. So the library, I guess, just gave me free pack of playing cards so you can play solitaire that's what i do all the time anyway (laughs) (laughs) well that's so nice good for you library gosh i love the library could i love the library anymore uh no you couldn't amazing you're like obsessed with the library (laughs) why don't you you fucking marry it honestly marry the library if i could i would because at this point might be my last shot (laughs) Kim's down on one knee in front of a library. Will you marry me? Will you do me the (laughs) honor? How's that kombucha now that you've earned it? Fucking delicious. Is that the one you like? The bubbly rosé or whatever? Bubbly rosé is my favorite. Yeah. That's a good one. It's got mango Um, steam in it and rose petals. Do we we have any more important news i need some new merch I... but i was gonna make more merch before i like really shared it but if you want to look it's up there maybe i'll share it now yeah, maybe i'll make some more share it yeah because who knows what you're gonna make by the time this hits their ear balls that's true i bet there will be more by the time this hits their ear balls um yeah so tell hopefully. us what you made bitch uh, i just made just like little stuff it just says horror queen with our 
logo and then I'm going to make some other little sayings and stuff. Cool, cool mm-hmm. little sayings like that. You know, yes. No so deal. if you're a horror queen, you should go get some merch. Yeah. I love the little designs you came up with and I'm probably going to get some myself. Me wait. Because I'm a fucking horror queen. Yes. Um, I'm probably, I want you to make some witch ones next because I think I want those. Okay. I'm putting in a request for merch. We have a whole list. So, um, yeah. I have many, many to go through. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it for me, I think. Um, and then, uh, we're still doing our new Patreon. Mm-hmm. Basically, I think I'm going to try to release every video or every episode, but we're guaranteeing we at least one a month, but I don't know, just in case I, uh, we don't want to I... guarantee four a month and then have one like, you know, turn into poopsicles and then we're like, oh no, you don't, ha-, you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like if we promise cause... one and then something happens, <laughs> just cause the Lord knows, I don't know how I'm going to fuck this up somehow, but I bet I will <laughs> at one point. Um, exactly. <laughs> and then, and then it feels like you got three bonuses. Yeah. But in general, I'm probably going to release every, every single one. Yeah. Um, cause it seems to be one of the few things I can accomplish in my life these days. So I feel pretty good about it so far, just doing it. <laughs> I think but, you're, um, I think you're doing a great, great uh, job. And I am yeah. glad that I don't have to think about it. You don't. Makes me very happy. Uh, very What's excited about it. What's happening in your life? Anything? What is happening in my life? Eric and I bought a little mini fire pit. So we are using that outside of our house, whether it is allowed or not. We're just not asking. Um, Let's see. What else? Uh, I had two panic attacks this week. Fun. Over things that are, uh, I can't even remember what they are. So clearly, (laughs) clearly it was really about It was worth the panic. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So that's been really fun navigating that. I think that's sort of all I have. Fire pits and panic attacks is kind of what my week was about. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a pretty. This is one of my biggest weeks of recent days. So, y- yeah, you had a lot, lot on your plate. There happened. was a lot to take in. A lot to take lot in. Happened. Still processing. Yeah. Can't believe I have a tattoo on my arm. Ah! <laughs> it looks so good, though. I really love it. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't wake up today and you weren't like, what have I done? I mean, I still feel nervous about it. You should. (sighs) It's tattoos are so ubiquitous now. Like it's, it's almost like, you know, I mostly care for hand modeling. It's like truly the only other than that. I could give a fuck, but don't tell my agent. (laughs) I'm calling her right now. (laughs) And I'm going to step in for you with these beauties. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, they really are so grotesque looking in comparison to yours. No, Hold them they're up. not. Hold it up. They're Hold just up little. In comparison to mine. They're grotesque. They look <laughs> deformed in comparison to yours. Like, what is that? Is that even a hand? Why does this pinky look like it should be on a different hand what is it but mine look like Nosferatu hands so. right but they photograph so much better like look at that it looks like <laughs> that's what my hand sounds like <laughs> for the for the people that are just listening in your earballs, picture what this sound would look like and that's what my hand looks like and mine look like And they also feel like the tingles you get from ASMR. Yes, that's exactly. And they look like that too. They look like how you feel the tingles from ASMR. (laughs) That is exactly right. And, you know, we all have our talents. So, Kim, you know how you really want the taste of hot sauce, but you're a big, huge, giant wuss? (laughs) I do. I found a hot sauce for you. You did? What is it? El Yucateco hot sauce. It is called a hot sauce for everyone. Even Kim. Here's why you can handle it. So they focus on flavor, not heat. And also it's non-vinegar based, which you're also a wuss about. (laughs) This is made for me. They use the whole fruit of the pepper. 
non-vinegar base, and then they also don't use the capsaicin extract, which is the thing that burns your mouth off. Wow. They have five different habanero-based sauces. You can do the jalapeno, that's the least hot, then it goes to chipotle, then red, then Caribbean, then green, then black, then triple X hot, Hi-ya. baby. That's for you because you like to sweat while you eat. I do. I do really like to sweat while I'm eating. So yeah, give it a shot. Cool. Birdsy. I guess I'll go to www.shopelyucateco.com. That's shop, E-L-Y-U-C-A. T-E-C-O dot com. Hashtag king of flavor. Go try the hot sauce for everyone, even Kim. I'm going to tell you a movie now. Are you ready? I am so fucking ready, bitch. This was a Patreon pick. And it got a lot of votes. Yay. That means it's going to be good. (laughs) Yeah. And I was telling Peg and Skip, like, oh, I have to go watch a movie. And I said what it was. And my dad from, like, off screen was like, I've watched that. And now that I've watched it, I'm like, Dad, why were you watching this? Ah! <laughs> did they vote? <laughs> Who what did they vote for? Uh, maybe they voted for this. I don't know. I'll have to ask. I don't know if they, like, know how it works. How it works. Yes. Yeah. Like, I don't sure. feel like they get it. Um. I'll explain it to them. We'll give them a Patreon tutorial. <laughs> okay. So this movie is called Teeth. Mm-hmm. Okay. So dead or alive? Dawn. Alive. Toby. Dead. Mullet. Dead. Mom. Alive. Dad. Alive. Brother Brad. Mm, Alive. Gyno. Collegist. Dead. Okay. Not bad. Perfectly average. Unlike your hands. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Also, (laughs) unlike my normal score. And unlike yourself. Heck Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. It's a weird day. Okay. So where do I need this to be? Right on your iTunes opening button. Right. Wherever the fuck <laughs> right that on my is. iTunes opening button. Okay. <laughs> I think this is good. Okay. All right, all, right, all right. Open on suburban smokestacks, which were featured in many shots. And so I thought they meant something, but they don't. So moving suburban on. Suburban smokestacks? Meaning- <laughs> Yes, yeah, suburban <laughs> smoke snacks. Uh, they're just pumping out Teddy Grahams oh, all okay. day. I just feel like Teddy Grahams are a really suburban snack. I agree Am I with wrong? that. Yeah, no, goldfish yeah. especially too. Ooh, um, goldfish is a really suburban snack. Yeah. What's uh, a rural snack? Herbs. Uh, I want to say a 7-Eleven Slurpee, but. <laughs> That's not rural. That would be more urban, oh, wait. I would think. I thought you said urban. No, r- rural. 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 Uh, rural. rural. Uh, corn? Co- <laughs> oh, corn. Corn and corn byproducts. Yeah. Just, yeah. Join us for our snacks podcast. Um, okay. Sweet. So now. I guess if they don't mean anything, it doesn't mean it They doesn't don't mean matter. anything. They they mean nothing. And I, I was but just like, they were s- like from fireplaces or like like from... No, it's like also unclear how I wrote it. You know what? Let's talk about this thing that doesn't matter. So <laughs> it's <laughs> because it's like if it's so like a power plant, I don't think of that as like suburban. That's weird. Right, right. So here's what it was. We're in suburbia, but in the center of it, it, it like the backdrop of our main character's house are these like giant smokestacks that look like they're from like a factory. But we're in suburbia. Okay. And I found it weird. And okay. I felt like I needed to comment on it and apparently spend 25 minutes talking about it on the podcast. And it has nothing to do with anything. Great. Okay. So. Glad we cleared that up. Yep. So now we have uh, a family sitting in their front yard. Uh, two kids are in like a little kiddie pool. And the parents are sitting in like little lounge chairs <laughs> with like margaritas or whatever. And the girl in the pool Looks like she's about mm, four, maybe. And the little, her brother, 
who's her uh, soon to be stepbrother is like seven probably. So like she's not as you know, like that's a big age difference four to seven. If you think about like developmentally speaking. So the dad says to the boy, they're like kind of bickering and he's like, be nice to your sister. And the little boy's like, she's not my sister. God damn it. And the dad, yeah. He's a dick. And the dad is like, the dad is like, be nice. She will be soon if everything goes well. And then like the, t- the mom and dad like kind of hold hands and like smooch each other. So like the daughter is her kid and the son is his kid and they're getting married soon. Okay. And they seem really sweet. The parents. So then the camera's like kind of cutting away from the kids in the kiddie pool back to the parents who are like looking really romantic. But like as it cuts away, we hear the little boy say, okay, now show me yours. And then we like cut to the parents and they're like kind of cuddling. And then we hear, Uh, ow! We cut back to the kiddie pool and the little boy's finger is bleeding like really, really, really badly. And they're like, what happened? What happened? And the little girl just like kind of looks confused. And he's like, she bit me. She bit me. Uh, and <laughs> so then uh, we cut to the credits and it's like, uh, it looks like under a microscope, just like microorganisms, like bouncing off each other and eating each other and stuff is the credits. Now we cut to. A blonde chick who we're to understand is the little girl from the kiddie pool. Mm -hmm. And she's standing up in front of like a crowd of kids uh, who are anywhere from like, you know, 10 to 15. And she's like, we have a gift. And she's talking about the special gift that we all have. And she's like, now, if you had a special gift, would you go handing it out to anyone on the street? And all the like preteens are like, no. And then she's like, no, you're going to give it to someone special. Same goes for you boys. Would you give your gift to some girl who looks like she just stepped out of a music video? And I'm like, no, hang on. What are you talking about? (laughs) And then I noticed that like everybody is dressed like very conservatively. Mm, Sure. And in like t-shirts that say something about Jesus is my homeboy. Jesus Jesus is something about Jesus is my homeboy of some kind. And there's like a resounding no. But every time the kids in the audience respond, it's like in sync, like as if they have said this a lot. Creepy. And yeah, it's super creepy. And then she's like, no, you're not going to give it. You're not going to just give it away. You're going to give it to someone I think what I meant to write was you're going to give it to someone that you'll have children for. But what I wrote was, no, you're going to give it to your children, which no. is not at all what I mean. You're not. I pre- don't do no, that. No, don't give it to your children. I think it's you're going to give it to the person you're going to have children with or something. Fair. And as she's saying this, she kind of like locks eyes with a cute boy in the audience. And we see that they kind of are like, ooh, eyeballs at each other. So everyone then holds up their hand. And we see that everybody is wearing like a little red plastic ring around their, you know, oh, I guess it would be on their left hand probably. Oh, oh I'm not like wearing my wedding fucking... ring. Where's my wedding ring? Oh, I did dishes. Okay. Um, like a chastity ring or whatever. Yeah. Uh, purity ring. Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, Definitely nothing I ever knew anything about. So <laughs> no, no. Uh, so they all hold up their finger and she's like, it wraps around your finger as a reminder to keep your gift wrapped. Which we know from our cheers every week. We like our gina holes out. out. Okay. So then she's like, everybody cheers for her. And she's kind of ushered off stage and now there's a new speaker and it's like a middle-aged man now who's clearly like running the creepy camp and we kind of hear him on off in the distance talking about things and like we can't really hear what he's saying but again I have the subtitles on so I was like wait a minute what the fuck was that so he's like if you use your hand on yourself is that okay and we hear like no Ah! and then we hear (laughs) 
how about if you use the back door? And I was like, what? <laughs> was that okay? That's the that's the thing. No. Then we were in a new conversation. So I don't know if the crowd <laughs> said yes or no. I don't know if you're supposed to use the I'd back door. I'd love to hear. Does, does Jesus prefer the back door? Isn't that what Christians do? I think use the yeah. back door to not quote unquote not lose their virginity. Uh, yeah. So I, but I was curious if he was about to tell a room of 10 year olds to, you know, <laughs> make sure you use the back door, which <laughs> I'm just like, what is this camp? This is terrifying. <laughs> Everybody just go fuck each other in normal front door ways. Just, <laughs> just go have fun. Don't listen to these creepos. <laughs> in my mind, nothing is allowed at that camp except anal. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm going to go with. I, you know what? That checks out. That's, that's what we're going to go with for the rest of this. Okay. So now Dawn is sitting with two of her friends and it appears her name? that Dawn? her two, her name is Dawn. Yeah. It appears that her two friends are like boyfriend and girlfriend, but like nerdy Christian, pure boyfriend and girlfriend and are like very proud of being boyfriend and girlfriend, but making sure everyone knows that they don't fuck. Like they're like. You know, which I'm just like, that sounds an- that sounds annoying. Like, I don't want to talk about you not fucking like at the very least, either don't talk about it at all or spill the dirty tea. <laughs> like, those are my two options. Sure. Agreed. Uh, um, And they're like, you did such a great job. And they're like, we should go out and celebrate. And Don says, I can't go out. My mom's sick again. Uh, at this point, Toby comes up and we see that Toby was the boy that she was making eyes with in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And, uh, they have like a very like cheesy Casablanca eyes meeting moment with like sort of very Casablanca E music playing like very classical love story. Spoiler alert. I've never seen Casablanca. So great. But I'm just picturing that that's, that that's what it's like. Uh, so they're meeting. We learn that Toby is about to start school with her. So like, he's going to be a new kid at their school. She's completely enamored. And, uh, they sort of say something to her about like, I think he's going to pick you again to speak next time. Like, meaning like, I guess at the next one, like she did such a good job. Like he's going to ask you to speak again. Toby says something about like, there's only 27 that he picks or blah, blah, blah. And then he sort of says, he's like, they really related to you and not just to you, but the way that you said what you said, eyes, eyes, eyes. They're clearly just like boners. Is to the I face fucking allowed? The Cause they're doing it. No. Oh, for sure. Only anal and eye fucking at this camp, because that's all I see. I see some guy up there telling 10 year olds to do anal and then I'm watching eye fucking. So I guess that Jesus is chill with both of those. Okay. So she kind of glances down and she sees that he also is wearing a purity ring. So she's like, oh my gosh, this is totally my dude that I'm going to fuck in like 12 years. Yes. Um, (laughs) God. Okay, so now she's riding her bike home, and we see the giant smokestacks again. This is, I mean, I, they're there again. I thought they were important. <laughs> Just goldfish Shh. and titty grams, slurpees and corn. Yep, exactly. So she comes in, and she goes into her mom's room, and uh, she's like, they asked me to come back and speak at the next one, and they're, like, really proud of her and everything. And then the stepdad comes in, and he's bringing mom tea. And he like feels her head and he's like, you feel warm. And the mom's like, I don't want to talk about being sick. I want to talk about Dawn's day. And they just seem like really, really, really sweet. Mm. And she calls him dad. So like, she's definitely like, this is my dad. And uh, then Dawn says, oh, my friends say hi. My two, the two little virgin couple friends and mom makes a joke to her husband being like, God, an iron will those two. And Don's like, what do you mean? And they kind of like giggle, laugh and giggle. And they're like, oh, things were just different in our day. And I'm like, you telling your daughter you fucked in the front door? Hey, okay. The front door. Mom. <laughs> and Don just like looks kind of confused. Used, you know, so like 
that's what I found really interesting that like she wasn't she's not from like a super Super Christian Christian family yeah she's just like no like Jesus is my jam like that's that's who I am and I'm like okay Mm, you do you girl cool sounds fun um (laughs) (laughs) I don't know sounds fun Mm. yeah (laughs) so uh they're really sweet dad laughs um and then the stepdad says to Donnie's like you're such a blessing and then all of a sudden, like, super loud, like, metal music starts playing. And Dawn, like, covers her ears. And, like, the mom and dad kind of, like, roll their eyes. And then mom is like, both our kids are blessings. <laughs> and everyone's kind of like, yeah. So now we cut to Dawn uh, in her room, brushing her teeth in a very Quaker-esque nightgown. Like, she's really... <sighs> I she's, thought you were going to say she's blush, brushing her teeth in a very Quaker-esque way. And I was like, how? how? Why? No. What does that even mean? What's what's the Quaker way to brush your teeth? She makes sure she makes sure her mouth is closed the whole time for <laughs> modesty reasons. So she just brushes like this. <laughs> um, it's like, no, how, very, <laughs> they're like, just make it look the least like a blowjob as you can. Exactly. Yeah. So, no, it's a very Quaker-esque nightgown she's Got committed it. and oh I lost my place my eyes went back to the smokestacks again I was like we've already done the smokestacks smoke and then behind her she's got like a shower with like a glass door and we see someone stand up in the shower no behind her ah. and she doesn't see it like the angle that she's at we can see it in the mirror but she can't and so then she starts unbuttoning her nightgown and turns around and ah! it's her brother. And yeah. he's just like, Rah! like coming out to scare her like a, <laughs> like a zombie shower monster. And uh, it's the son. So do you know who the brother is? It's the son from Nip Tuck. Who was dating like the trans woman who was much too old for him, Famke Jensen? If you saw his face, you would know exactly who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I can't remember a son on Nip Tuck even existing. Okay, I will. You're gonna kick yourself right in the butthole when mm-hmm. you see because, um, yeah. So, I'm gonna kick son myself from in the front door, actually. In the Thank front you very door. Much. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> We we are a secular we are a secular podcast. We kick each other in the front door. <laughs> My knees are also uh, double jointed. Oh, uh, yep, exactly. So now we cut to her in her bedroom, Dawn in her bedroom doing her nails, and we hear like a repetitive. It's not a bang, but it's also not a tap. It's just a repetitive sound on the wall, like something is hitting the wall. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what is that? So she like puts her earplugs in and then we cut to where the sound is coming from. And it's her fucking brother in his room, smoking a cigarette, naked, just shooting at the wall. Just shooting what? BBs, blanks. B- t-shirts I don't know like just just shooting something at the wall okay. and uh yeah it was he's he's just like he's just an aggressive asshole he's just you know when we call him a blessing we're putting it in quotation marks like we <laughs> have to really we have to try to look for the blessing okay. in him being our son so now we cut to her uh riding her bike to school and she's dressed very conservatively, but in that way that's like try like she's wearing a t shirt, but she has to wear like a long sleeve underneath. And like you know what I mean? Like that yeah. sort of like it's just it, it, it creeps me out for some reason. And we see that there are these two losers, one of whom is Mullet and and his friend, like see her pull up and they sort of like elbow each other to be like she's here. And we see her kind of like put on a brave face, like take a deep breath. And then she gets up and like starts walking and she's walking down this open hallway and everyone is just like shouting at her, like bullying her things about 
popping cherries and her underwear and shit like that. So clearly she like definitely gets made fun of for like That's being so... a total like backdoor Christian. Yeah. And Aww. but she like puts on like a, you know, like a smile. Like she's she's like this, you know, I'm proud of this. This is the persecution that God wants me to withstand or whatever sure. the fuck they think. God doesn't care. S- yeah, he does not care. He He's totally him. fine with the front door, the back door, the side door, whatever door. As long as fine. it's consensual doors. Yeah. What if if you invite someone in, they can come in whatever door you want. Your them to doors come in. are like vampires. Yes. Yes. Your doors are like. Va- no. Well, your doors are like vampire barriers. Yes. And the people who want to come in your door, they're are the vampires. vampires. Yeah. All penises are vampires is what we're saying. And vaginas for other and people. F- and fingers. And, other, and n- noses. Parts. You know what? You know what? I'm- everything's a door. Every- a va- everything's- a vagina vampire door. <laughs> <laughs> everything's a vampire door. Every Everything. Whatever you want to be a vampire door, it, it is one. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> you- <laughs> You can make anything a vampire door if you want to. You sure can. It just all you have to do is believe. Okay. So <laughs> So the only person who like isn't sort of laughing along is Toby. He seems to like feel really bad for her. And Toby is um, the little, little boy she likes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now we cut to health class. Um, where we learn about vampire doors, where we learn why the school system is failing our children. Oh no! And because they are failing to teach them about vampire doors. So oh, no. here we go. Cut to health class. Awkward male teacher standing up there talking directly from a book, and all of the kids have the book, and the scene opens on like camera on a diagram of the penis okay anatomical well-drawn diagram of the penis then everybody flips the page to what should be a diagram of the vulva and vagina and there is a giant gold sticker over it and every single person's page has a giant gold sticker over it Oh, my God. Uh, Fuck you. Just wait. So the kids are like, hey, why is there a sticker on my vagina? And the teacher is can't explain why the penis was not covered, but the vulva was. And but all he says, he's like, you know, the state board rightfully felt that it was inappropriate. So the penis was not inappropriate, but the vagina was. That makes me so angry. So Also, let's be real. People need to learn a lot more about the vulva and the vagina than they do about a fucking penis. Listen, the fucking vulva vampire door is way more complicated complicated. and requires way more combination locks. Yes, please. Teach them. Please teach them. But also, like teach girls to not yes. be ashamed of it yeah because now and not only are telling yeah like all of those girls are like oh me exploring my vagina curious shameful. about my vagina shameful. looking at my vagina shameful. not only shameful but inappropriate mm-hmm. like it's just guys I can't I can't I can't go down this rabbit hole I can't go down this vampire door okay um, so the kids are annoyed. Dawn then speaks up and she's like, I think it's, I think it's the right, the way that it should be. Women have a natural modesty. So it only makes sense. And everyone just starts like booing her. Boo. And I was like, yes, boo, boo, Dawn, Sorry, boo. Dawn. boo, um, except for Toby. Toby's like, I agree. And then they all <laughs> laugh at him. So. Cut to Dawn walking with her two virgin friends and, uh, to, oh, and Toby as well. So it's the four of them. It's this little foursome walking together and they're walking up to a movie theater. Do you remember those where you could like 
go into it. I recall. And you sit in close proximity to a bunch of people, mm-hmm. sort of breathe and laugh on each other for two and a half consecutive hours. I do recall. It was a crazy time. Crazy so they're time. like, <laughs> so they're looking at what movie to see and they're looking at the ratings and they're like, oh, that one's rated R. And they're like, what about this one? And then the two little virgin dorks are like, <laughs> they're not dorks because they're, vir- well, listen, to each his own, but they're dorks. So they're like, <laughs> even the PG-13 is going to have heavy making out. Oh, so no. Now we cut to them, like, clearly in a cart. They're in the theater now, and they're clearly, like, watching a cartoon. Like, we hear cartoon sounds. And she and Toby are, like, sharing popcorn together, and, like, their hands accidentally touch, and then just (gasps) boners to the face, black eyes all around. Um, But they haven't learned about their bodies, so they don't know what's hitting them in the face. Sure. Um, and then, like, the two virgin dorks are next to them, and they kind of, like, sweetly kiss, but, like, in a way that's, like, we can handle this. We're professionals. Like, we can handle our hormones and squelch them <laughs> and just kiss. <clears throat> so now um, we cut to the stepbrother uh, in his room, and he's talking to a girl, and she asks him about the scar on his finger. And he says that he actually doesn't remember how he got it. He was really young. And he says, but I think she bit it. And then they hit a bong. That's it. Mm -hmm. Cut to (laughs) now. Like weed, right? Not like bong. Bong. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) No, they hit a bong. That's what it is. Yeah. Seems Um, weird. It's how they change scenes in this movie. Just a giant character hits a bong. Fun. Yeah. Uh, So now we cut to our four virgins driving in a wooded area in a Jeep. And one of them says, isn't this a makeout spot? (gasps) And another one says, only at night. And then Dawn, I think, says, so is this a good idea? And then the dork, not Toby, says, we're in a group. We'll police each other. (laughs) Oh, no. Can you fucking imagine if you and I were trying to get fucked and we were like policing each other to not have it happen? No. Like that would just, I mean, actually, I feel like I've done that to you before, but only because you were about to go home with someone who I was like, this is not, no, 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 no. We're not doing this Probably. Come along. Sounds about right. All of her doors are closed, sir. <laughs> They're all You're closed. You're not invited. <laughs> Get out of here, Get, vampire. Get your vampires out of here. None of them are allowed. Mm. <laughs> but that's not the kind of policing they were talking Sounds about. Sounds about right. Yeah. So now we cut to... they they uh, come to, The four of them come to a lake, this beautiful lake. And there's like a waterfall and behind the waterfall is like a cave that you kind of have to like climb up into. And the girlfriend says that people go into the cave to, you know, have, have, have sex is what she meant. Oh. They go into the, they go into the cave to, to do it. Scandalous. Yeah. So now we cut back to this piece of shit stepbrother. All right. He's post coitus with the girl that he was bonging with and they're cleaning themselves up <laughs> and she I'm which part picture, are you laughing I'm just at picturing I don't know. them hitting a bong over and over again like yeah that's they do it when they sex too like. yeah they they do it when they finish having sex as well yeah well <laughs> bong <laughs> uh, okay so she's like putting on her fishnets again and she's like you know I have a perfectly good pussy. Other boys like it just fine. And he's like uh-huh. smoking a cigarette and he says, well, fuck them then. And uh, she just kind of like rolls her eyes. And then we see that he has a door to the outside in his room. Mm-hmm. But attached to that door is a dog cage. So like the only... Uh, it's, you know how you like put a, a, a 
air conditioning unit in a window and then like you close the window. So basically he's done that with a door and a dog cage. So the dog can go in and out. But like when he comes in the door, he's in a cage kind of thing. Okay. And it's a Rottweiler. And the dog's name is Mother. So I'm like, mm, this feels <laughs> like there may be some issues there. Um, and the dog is like really pissed about being in the in the cage. Like you can tell he's like obviously not treated super well. Mm. And so um, the brother goes over to like give the dog a dog bone, but is like taunting him with it instead. Mm. And so the dog kind of like growls and jumps at him. And he like, and the brother like kind of jumps back and is like, okay, fine, bitch. Like he's just a piece of shit, terrible person. So he sits back down on the bed and he starts trying to like put the dog bone into his girlfriend's mouth. And the girl is just like really uncomfortable, but like not pushing it away, just kind of like trying to keep her mouth closed. And then finally she goes to like tell him to stop and he like shoves it in her mouth. And she's Jeez. like, fuck you, and like leaves. So Ugh. he's a real monster. So now we cut to Toby and Don, and they're talking on the shore of the lake, and the two virgin virgins are off, you know, not having sex somewhere. And uh he's like, she's talking about how she just always knew that she wanted to wait until marriage that was just something she always thought was important and Toby says so no one has ever even touched your and she's like oh my god absolutely not and then she asks are you a virgin as well and he says yes in his eyes (laughs) what and I was like what does that that mean oh I guess he just did back to his stuff then or did he like do front door stuff and then like ask to have his virginity born again baptized or something because that's a fucked up thing that i had to do when i was at that creepy evangelical christian camp get rebaptized baptized there so like you had to like accept jesus again like every year that was like the born again part and then like if you had had sex you had to like be rehymened like it was like you had to like ask for to be a virgin again. I, I'm so I, sad. Don't, yeah, no, I don't do I that. feel really bad because like my parents literally just saw like oh Lauren wants to go to a Christian camp. I don't. They definitely did not know how creepy it was <laughs> that they were like they did not oh, know God. those poor things. <laughs> so rehymed. Oh, it was, it was so weird. Like, I'm just like, why are we? T- Ugh, well, so it's like 16 year old girls, like talking to the head of focus, you know, who's like in his forties talking about, you know, sinning and having sex and Jesus is going to let you be a virgin again. Or what? like, I'm just like, this whole thing is just so Ugh, gross. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Why is it so important to be a virgin? Because the patriarchy says so, because they're scared of women, I think. Something like that. Something something along those lines. We'll get to that, actually. Oh, so she, so he's a virgin in his eyes, and he says, it was just once, and I'm still dealing with the guilt. And she tries to make him feel better and says, you're, you're probably stronger now in your resolve, because you know firsthand the dangers of it. And I was like, oh, honey, like, what are you talking about? So now we cut to them driving home, and she gets dropped off at her house, cut to Dawn going in and kissing her mom goodnight. And she, like, turns the – she picks up the remote to turn the TV off for her. And it's this, like, old-timey tarantula creature feature playing. And it kind of, like, hypnotizes her for – not literally hypnotizes her, but she kind of, like, gets sucked into it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the big tarantula face, like, ah, jumps out. And she's like, ah, and, like, turns it off real fast. So now we cut to a thunderstorm. And Dawn is lying awake. And she starts to very, very, very slowly pull the covers down off 
of herself. Okay. And I'm like, come on, girl. You can do it. Come on. And so she very hesitantly sort of touches herself. We don't really see much. And I doubt that she she's definitely not like getting in there. She's yeah, just yeah, like yeah, yeah. in that area. And we see that she's fantasized. Oh God, the fantasy like broke my heart. Because even in her fantasy, she's just fantasizing about marrying Toby. <laughs> and like she's in like a wedding dress. And so like... <laughs> He comes up from between her legs, but like her wedding her dress wedding. is on. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's, I was just like, oh, okay. So she's, so she's like getting super into, you know, her fantasy, but there's like church music playing. Like it's not even like, it's just, <laughs> just, and then all of a sudden tarantula face. Ah! And she's like, oh my God, what is wrong with me? So clearly she felt like the tarantula face coming in was God's face coming in saying like, don't let any vampires in your doors. Oh my even, god! And your and also your hand is a vampire. Apparently, yes, your own and it's hand also, is a vampire. You're also a vampire. And so, <laughs> and so she just is like, "What's wrong with me?" And then she's like, "Purity, purity, purity, purity." And I'm like, "Oh my god!" Um, uh. <laughs> rolls over, tries to go to sleep. <laughs> a vampire? <laughs> no. What's so, this vibrating vampire next to my bed? <laughs> <laughs> is that a lie, yeah. Jesus? That is also a vampire. No vibrating vampires either. Little does she uh, know she'd fall asleep a lot better. Yep. She doesn't know. After a little vampire, Levin. She, she does not know. So now we cut to, where do we cut to? We cut to a classroom. And it's a teacher in front of the classroom. And she's talking about rattlesnakes. And how rattlesnakes evolved to have that rattle. So like millions of years ago, it was, you know, probably a snake that didn't have one and it got stepped on or it got whatever. So it developed this, yeah, developed this rattle. And so she starts talking about evolution and she says, and what does this have to do with you guys? And like nobody really answers And she's like, I know that there are people in this classroom who, you know, are questioning evolution. And then Dawn walks in and the teacher is like, "Uh, I know that some of you have other theories about evolution. Dawn, you missed a lot of this, but we were talking about something that's relevant to you. So basically this this science teacher was like. All you little fucking Christian idiots, evolution is real. So, like, it was very pointed. So I was like, is this, like, a big Christian population here? Like, it was just, it was very weird because it was definitely, like, not a Christian school. It was a public school. But there's clearly a big, you know. So cut to now Toby in the boys' locker room. And he's going to his locker and he gets a call on the phone and it's dawn and she says she had a weird morning and he says my thoughts have been very impure too <gasps> oh no <laughs> and then she says i don't think we can go out anymore no even in a group. and he says i think that's smart no. and then she starts to cry and she's like we're so in sync and I'm like yeah just Just fucking vampire each other um so now we cut to her reading a mythology book and there's like a picture of Medusa and she then takes her earplugs out because she's like I hear something she takes them out and it's her brother just like loudly having sex in his room like just very loud so we cut to her brother uh cut to her brother's room now he's done fucking he's in there by himself and she knocks on the door and there's just like nude posters like all over the wall and Don comes in with like a cartoon unicorn shirt on <laughs> <laughs> And she asks to have a serious talk. Oh, man. And she says, it's about you and Melanie. And he's like, oh, yeah? Did you hear us? Did it turn you on? And she's like, Ugh. doesn't know what to say or do. 
And so she changed the subject and she's like, I don't know why we've never been close, but I would like that to change. And he's like, you know why? And she's like, I really don't. And he's like, all this abstinence bullshit, we all know who you've been saving yourself for. So why don't you sit that sweet ass on down and let's get it over with. <gasps> no. What? No. Who? You? No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a vampire. Get out. The crosses. Crosses garlic. Yeah. Ah. What yeah. the fuck? No. Ew. It was yucko. So yucky. Oh, she God. leaves. She leaves just like you right now. She's like, bah, 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 and leaves. I'm so upset. So now, so now we cut to her like sitting under a tree, uh, and it appears to be like where that lake was, and she definitely seems like, like, um, thoughtful, tortured, pensive about something like that interaction fucked her up Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. like it would and yeah someone has a lot of stepbrothers um i don't you never i didn't want you don't know yucky you don't they're they're brothers (laughs) they're brothers yeah it it was yucko especially for that long like since they were little kids yeah that's the other thing like i mean any stepbrother please don't have sex with them full period next paragraph i do feel like there's something significantly weirder having had that person come into your life at like four and seven yeah. versus like 13, 14. I can see like having like a 14 year old stepbrother that's suddenly living with you now and he's hot and you're like, I don't, maybe we should have, <laughs> you know, I would not yeah, have done well. Va- with that. Vampire door is all around though. Mm-hmm. Right. So she's holding her cell phone. And she appears to be, like, really nervous to call someone. So she calls. And then she finally calls. Toby. And she says, Toby? Toby. And she says, I need to see you. Cut to a Jeep, like, speeding up. Like, <laughs> like speeding up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and she says, I brought my bathing suit. And they, like, giggle. And so <laughs> oh, now. no. So now we cut to her coming out nervously from behind a tree in a fucking Quaker bathing suit. Like it was like just, I mean, so many clothes. It was just, it was just so much material on her, on her body. <laughs> She's letting and, the ankles fly, fly oh, loose. Oh yeah. Hey, oh yeah. Look at them sexy ankles. And she comes out and uh, he comes out and he's like shirtless, obviously. And she's like, boner to the face. Ah, my vagina. Yeah. And um, she's like, you're just how I imagined you. And he's like, you too. I mean, except with less on. <laughs> 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 and so they dive in the lake. And they're like splashing around and they swim up to this like rope swing and they're hanging on it and they're just like, and then they kiss. Oh my gosh. And uh, he says, this doesn't feel wrong at all. It doesn't. And then he's like touching her little boob. Oh my and gosh, how they go from breaking up to boob touching. Well, she moves it immediately. And she like takes his hand and like holds his hand and she's like, purity. And then <sighs> swims away. <laughs> so okay. she's not going to hell okay. with a joke, but she does but, have her two little. Kissing. Yeah, but I get when I thought about it, I was like, okay, she does have those two little virgin friends who like kiss and stuff. So maybe she's like, maybe this can be what we do or whatever. So um, she swims away, but like flirtily, you know, <laughs> and he follows and they go into the gorgeous cave and, uh, they climb into like, they have to kind of climb up a little bit into a little alcove and she gets in there first and there's like a fucking sleeping bag in there. 
because like that's where everybody goes and they're like community sleeping bag for teenage fucking, Ew. here you go I yeah don't no one touch that sleeping bag light it on no fire nobody touch don't even Ew. light it on fire we have a hole in the ozone layer you are going to create more oh, pollution yucky don't touch. that needs to be disposed of like biohazardous waste so she goes in and wraps herself in it because she's cold. Oh, God. No. And he comes in to join her. And she's like, no, no, no. Stay there. And he's like, I'm freezing. So he comes in and they kind of like snuggle and kiss. And then they lay down. And she stops and says, let's, let's go back. And he says, just wait. And then he pulls his underwear off and says, you don't even have to do anything. <gasps> Toby. She starts screaming and says, no. And he, she kind of like backs away. But when she does that, like she accidentally hits her head. Like it's all very rocky. So uh-huh, like uh-huh. she kind of like hits her head on something and she's not fully knocked out, but she's definitely like not there. And she kind of passes out and he starts boning her. No. She wakes up as he's doing this. Question number one, Kim, okay. what do you do and what does she do? I want you to, I want to tell you something. Okay. This is going to be potentially triggering, but the catharsis will be so good so just hang in there okay um uh okay uh i'm gonna start with that this is okay um okay it's gonna be so good i promise you bernsey it's gonna be so good i'm going to I'll also tell you about a little bit about the terrain. So the door to the cave, right, uh, is right behind him, and there's a drop. Um. Okay. I can't decide if I want to say this or not. This is very triggering for me because... To be honest, I lost my virginity to date rape. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't. I was Ooh. nervous to tell you this movie as I started watching it. But by the end of the movie, You're I was like, like it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, oof, being passed out and losing your virginity is, um, mm. <laughs> 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 So, um, yeah, I don't even know what I, date rape might be the wrong word. Actually, I'm just going to go say rape, just fucking yeah. roofied, rape. just rape. So, yeah. um, yeah, so fuck that. And I'm going to push this guy fucking out of the cave off the ledge. Go fuck yourself. I hate you. Zach from Sigma Pi. I hope you're dead. <laughs> and she does the same hand in hand. Yeah, I knew nothing about this movie, and then I started watching it, and I was like, can't wait to tell these very specific scenes. Here we go. That's one ding-a-ling. Kim, what you decided to do was fucking perfect. Thank you. Just use those legs and push him Right the fuck out of that cave, Zach from Sigma Pi. She does one better. Oh. Okay. So she wakes up and is screaming and she's saying like, I said no. Then he screams. He starts screaming. And she's like, what? What? And she's trying to like get him off of her. Uh And... He backs away and is like screaming and looks down and there is no penis there. Yes. 
Sa- just pubes and blood. Deserved. And on the ground, oh, there's his penis. Ah, there's his severed penis that her vagina spit out like a bad Brussels sprout. Yep. Slow cups. Yep. So then he jumps into the water, swan dives into the water, and I was like, see you later, dick. Oh, no, wait. Your dick's right there. <laughs> see you later, you dickless. You already said see you later, to your dick. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she kind of like gets up in shock, sees the penis on the ground, calls for him, and he's gone. So now it's just her like crying and like looking out over the lake like, what the, the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Uh So cut to her clothes sitting alone on the lake shore. Cut to those fucking smokestacks again. And her riding home at dusk on her bike. Cut to her coming into the house. And she's like walking gingerly, like not wanting anyone to hear her. And in total shock. But then we hear her stepdad from the dining room say, honey, there's dinner if you want a bite. And she says, I already ate. And goes back into her room. Cut to her in the shower, freaking out, but like silently, right? Mm-hmm. Cut to her sitting on the edge of the tub in shock. Now, Kim, here's a bonus question for you. Your vagina was just penetrated against its will and somehow person doing it was left without a penis at the end what are you Kim gonna do with your sort of that is that area is a mystery to you right what what are you what are you gonna do I'm gonna whip that old mirror out that old mirror trusty and investigate my girl down there Let's fucking investigate our girl. Let's investigate. Yeah. That was a little bonus question for you. Thank you. So she can't even fucking bring herself to do that. Mm. This is how this is how the patriarchy, organized uh, patriarchal religion, and the sex education school system has failed this poor girl. So uh, cut to her laying in bed awake, and now she's actually still dreaming about Toby. But it's like intercut with like screams and him screaming and stuff. So mm-hmm. and tar- and tarantula face. So like her whole sexual thing is fucked. all fucked up now. Yep. And uh, hashtag therapy uh-huh. is all I'm saying. <laughs> like like uh-huh. like tomorrow. Like get an appointment in the books. So cut to her now ripping all of her wedding art off the wall. So oh. basically, she had like you know, wedding dresses and flowers and things like that. Just ripping it all off the wall and cut to now we have like a quick cut of her brother laying in bed awake, maybe hearing her, but it's not clear, but he is just absentmindedly sucking on his finger the way a child would like suck on a thumb. Now we cut to the little virgin children driving Dawn somewhere and Dawn's in the back seat alone. And she's like not talking. And, uh, the girl is like, just wing it, Don. You'll be fine. Like, you're going to do great. You always do. And the boy says, Toby will be there. And she goes, you've seen Toby? Have you seen him? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him a couple days ago. I killed and Toby. She's, Toby's dead. Well, she doesn't know that because he no, just dove. I did. Oh, you killed him. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, clearly. Um, but she's, I also, when he's like. I wanted to add to this. First, yes, please. Because I didn't know that there was water below mm. and that he could maybe be caught in the water and live. So I'm going to add an addendum just to slamming his head against the cave wall or floor mm. or whatever. The rocks, pick up a rock, just bash his head over and over and over again. And then out the door. I like that. I like that. I think that was that was accurate. Because, and you'll find out why that was accurate because... He just, in her mind, like, disappeared. Because, and he did disappear. Like, his right. body, w- because you would still, like, see his body or see, so- he was just gone. So, she's kind of like, when he says, like, Toby's going to be there, she's like, oh, good. Someone's 
saw him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And, uh, but then realizes that, like, it was a couple days ago. So now we cut to her on stage. And she has to give her little baby virgin talk again. Right. And she's traumatized. Rightly mm-hmm. so. Uh, she's just been raped. And she has to talk about purity and shit. And... Uh, this is not a system that supports victims at all whatsoever. So she is in total shock and she's like, Mr. So-and-so asked me to talk about purity today. And then all of the little drone children are like, yes, purity. Yes. And she's like, uh, um, trying to give this talk and make sense of it. And, it's doing that uh, cutting thing where it's like one continuous speech, but there's lots of jump cuts. So you can see that it's her just kind of like trying to process things. Mm-hmm. And all of the kids have these like things that they like automatically repeat. Like anytime she brings up like Adam and Eve, for instance, they're like bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Like they're just like trained to say these things. And she's like, <clears throat> what is that? Like, what is it a inside of me is it Adam inside of like just trying to process and she's like or is it the serpent and all the kids go the serpent and she's like no no I don't I don't know what it is and and then the head counselor kind of comes out and shoes her off stage because she's clearly like losing her mind Mm -hmm. and Uh, is like, I think what Dawn is saying is that because of Eve and the devil, we were all banished from the garden. And I'm just like, fuck this. Oh, my fucking God. Fuck off. Fuck fuck this. And it, I got to say this, like, seeing it in this ridiculous way, you know, the way that this movie was doing it in like this, very sort of cut and dry way, but hearing all of the things that I heard growing up, I'm just like the insidiousness of the seeds that they are planting that are going to be there. Even after you start untangling it is just so evil. Like just the idea that this story that was made up that like the woman who's the mother of all women is the reason that we no longer live in harmony and pair. Like it's just so fucking insidious. So fucked up. Um, so she was her off stage. Now we cut to all the kids like creepily awkward dancing like at a middle school mixer but in their very conservative clothes and dancing in that way that's like not only am I prepubescent and don't understand my body but I also actively don't try to understand my body so how it moves is a is beyond me is a total (laughs) mystery to me and that's what they're dancing like (laughs) so (laughs) so she's sitting on like how is this arm connected to the rest of my body I don't know (laughs) So uh, Dawn is sitting off to the side and one of the bullies comes up to her mullet and she's like, what are you doing here? Because he's one of the ones who would make fun of her all the time. And he's like, I was just checking it out. And she's like, did you drive here? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, can you take me home? And so cut to him dropping her off at home. And he's like, hey, listen, um, I know, like, we're not, I don't even think he apologizes for being an asshole, but, like, he kind of was saying in that teenage boy way, like, I'm sorry. I know I'm a dick. I know I'm a dick, sort of. And he's like, I was wondering if, like, maybe you'd want to go out sometime. (laughs) And she kind of just looks at him and chuckles and just goes, (laughs) that's so funny. And then just gets out of the car. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know that old saying. <laughs> women are afraid. No, men are afraid that women will laugh at them. Women are afraid that men will kill them. Well, she just laughed. So uh, he looks dejected. And she just is like, it's not you. And like turns away. He brushes it off, but like clearly hurt and like speeds off in the car. She then doesn't go inside she gets on her bike and rides in the opposite direction 
he we then cut to him in his car and he's like talking to himself and he's like god what what is so goddamn funny and he like makes a u-turn and goes back to her house he knocks on the door and this fucking asshole brother answers and uh he's like is dawn here i'm here for dawn and the brother just punches him in the face (laughs) and he's like (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> get off my property and never come back and leave Don alone <laughs> and just goes back inside. <laughs> Where oh, I was like, God. okay. So uh, <laughs> I'm laughing so much because I have boof. so many brothers and oh yeah, they vary in stages of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now we cut to Don at Toby's Jeep at the lake that is still there. Uh, so clearly he didn't drive it home. Now we cut to her swimming back to the cave with all of her clothes on, mind you. And I mean, what's she going to do? Get naked? No, I guess she can't get. Yeah, she's not going to get naked. Um, she swims up and she looks up to where the cave is and then screams. And we see what she sees. There's just a little lake crab holding a penis. (laughs) Holding a penis. Look what I got, guys. And um, so now we cut to her standing on top of a cliff, like looking out over the lake. And she takes her ring off and holds it in her hand, her purity ring, and drops it into the lake. And I was like, Girl, you can still have your purity if you want it. I hope you're throwing that away consensually and not because you think you're banished uh, from the Garden of Eden. Eden, I don't, but, you know, <sighs> ah, therapy, please yeah, have therapy. Yeah. So uh, cut to her now in her bathroom, and she is holding the page from her health book. She's ripped out the diagram of the vagina and she's holding it under very, very, very hot water. And she's kind of like holding it there, kind of moving it around. And the sticker Sticker. starts to slip off the paper. And then this moment was so beautiful because she looks at this black and white drawing of the vulva and she is like looking at it like she's seen the face of God. Honestly, Hmm. like she's just like, I can't believe that's me. It's my body. She's literally never seen a picture. She's avoided pictures of it. She's certainly not, you know, taken a mirror and and looked at it and examined it. You know, like I even think about like when she has her period, like what? She clearly she's using pads clearly because like that's how unfamiliar she is with her body. Right. And I always think about when we were in college and we all like looked at each other's vaginas to see how they were all different at a party. (laughs) I honestly learned a lot because I only knew of my vagina really for the the most part. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, wow, they are all a little different. They're they were all so different. I think one. I think we had a pointer. Yeah, we were like, now this. (laughs) We this is this person. Oh, look at how your look at how your labia minora are different than mine. That yeah, was a great night. Some were more closed. What we say? Yeah, like they some were like more a lockbox. Like, yeah, yeah. Some were more open. Yeah, yeah. It's just it was a lovely night. It was she's wonderful. never she's never done that. She's that, never honestly, done that. It's so much better to just check each other out. My I friends, know. my friends have waxed my vagina before. Yeah, like, just, it's cool, guys. It's, uh, yeah. So she's looking at it and she's like, see, she's like, oh my God, like this is, it look, it looks like a fucking flower is what I'm saying. Like George O'Keefe was right. It looks like a fucking (laughs) beautiful blossoming flower. Goddamn beautiful. Yeah. So, um, beautiful vampire door, (laughs) beautiful vampire door. So, okay. So now we cut to her at her computer and she's Googling. She, we just see her putting in keywords, mutations, adaptations, female genital adaptations, vagina dentata, mythology, toothed vagina. 
and we start hearing her read what she's read out loud what she's reading mm-hmm. and it's hero must do battle with the toothed creature and break her power so she's riding her bike somewhere oh sorry and so she keeps talking about it and she's like wait it's said creature must do battle what we haven't gotten there yet she's she oh. she's saying it very sort of like uh clipped not in a full thing so um the voiceover continues as she's riding her bike. I'm just letting you know what she's saying sort of uh, in order as she's saying it. Okay. So then we see like a statue of an ancient toothed vagina woman. And then she's riding her bike and the voiceover continues um, of what she read as she's riding her bike somewhere. And we hear the myth springs from a primitive masculine dread of the mysteries of women in sexual union and fears of weakness and impotence. It is a nightmare image, power and horror, female sexuality. The myth imagines sexual intercourse as an epic journey that every man must make back to the womb, the dark crucible that hatched him. (laughs) So it's like, there it is. And like, she's seeing it from all different, uh, cultures so like it's it's the lack of understanding of the female existence is like mm-hmm. a universal <laughs> which creates fear exactly which then yeah. creates oppression exactly so cut to her in a doctor office the doctor comes in and he immediately like doesn't make eye contact with her like just is kind of like what are you here for and she says, this is my first time. And he says, okay, just lie down, put your feet in Mr. Sock here, Mr. Sock there. And then he's like, okay, scoot down, scoot down, scoot down, (laughs) scoot down. And I was like, yeah, it always feels like you have to scoot down for 25 years. That's so true. (laughs) So true. And so... She, uh, he's like, I imagine you have no idea what to expect. And he says, don't worry. I'm not going to bite you. (laughs) He tells, but she might. Uh, Yeah. And he assumes that she wants birth control. And she says, nope, I just want to get checked out. And she's like, I think something weird is going on down there. And he's like, indeed, there is womanhood. I guess he says, I have a hunch you're sexually active. And she says, no. Well, yes. And he says, in this room, there are no judgments. Then he put his gloves on, obviously. Then he takes his gloves off. Kim? What? What do you do? And what does she do? What? So he takes his gloves off and is like going to perform the checkup, whatever. Yeah, he's lubing his hands. Oh my God, that's very upsetting. <laughs> catharsis! <laughs> Just remember that they're the catharsis. This is so upsetting. Fuck, does she see it? Uh, yes. But again, like she doesn't. No, no. I mean, yeah, she's yeah. never done it before. Yeah. This is so upsetting on so many levels. I just am so upset. I'm just so upset. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Yeah. We haven't. This is so a, obviously this is a very specific horror movie. And it's very upsetting for me. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. What are you doing? Don't take your lips off. Oh, God. No. Yeah. Uh, so obviously uh, there's okay. like practical answers. And then practical answers and then, you know, horror movie answers. So you can go either way. Woman. It's not, it's, it's not me. How is it not you? Because I had to unsilence my phone to play the bells for you. And then I just had a spam risk call me three fucking times. Why don't you silence your phone? I'm silencing it now. And then I have to remember to unsilence it when you get a bell. So that's where we are. Life is hard. Anyway, life is hard. 
Okay. I was just trying to avoid this situation, to be I honest. Tell. <laughs> You're like, let's talk about your phone. I don't know. What's going on with your phone? There's bells and rolls, ghost bells, doors. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's tough because it's like, well, ugh. I guess she bites his fingers off with her vagina. I don't think that's on purpose, but I bet that I feel like that's what happens. This is a confusing what does she do situation because I'm like, I think she does nothing and he does the checkup and then his fingers get bitten off. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's why you can use this as as your sort of, you know, let's play out these fantasies of getting to like stick it to the abusers. I kind of want to do the same, but I also kind of, you know what? I'm going to do the same. You're going to bite his fingers off? Mm-hmm. Are you going to do anything after that? Um, personally? Uh-huh. Then yes. Uh, what? I'm going to... I'm just going to fucking kill everyone in this. I'm going to fucking... Whatever's around. I don't know. What do they have? Scalpels? Scissors? Oh, I'm sure. There's they have be Also, some you have a lethal vagina. Like... Yeah, but I got to... I'm assuming... Put I would things, just put, go. I would just go around biting people vagina first. <laughs> but like, I would just. I guess I have to see the anatomy of the teeth to understand. Like, do things need to be inside? Like, what? Wh- where yeah. are the teeth? I'm. I'm pretty sure they need to be inside because, yeah. like, so it's a otherwise... little hard to just be like. <laughs> I'm just sticking. I'm just chomp, trying to stick chompy, people's chomp. noses up there. Yeah, <laughs> just chop, 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 chop. <laughs> all right i'm gonna start with fingers just okay. to like just to because at first i was like "Ooh, do i even like let him and then do it but you know what i'm gonna fucking be like yeah you think you're gonna fucking get away with something yeah you think you're fucking doing something that you're gonna fucking like i'm gonna fucking bite your fingers off motherfucker and then yes. stab 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 forever yes <laughs> queen <Blood. laughs> That was blood spatter. Spurt, let spurt, me spurt, spurt, spurt. Unsilence my phone. Go <laughs> just... back to my bells. I'm gonna... Where are my bells? Here they are. I'm going to order you another bell that probably costs $5. <laughs> church bell. That's two church <laughs> bells for you. Yes. Okay. So. He... Takes his gloves off. I can't believe he took his gloves off. What a fucking, fucking scrote monster. This motherfucker. And, oh, it gets worse. And he says, how's this? And she says, I, I don't know. Shouldn't you tell me? And he's, he brings a light over and he says, let's test your flexibility. Ladies, gynecologists don't test the flexibility of your vagina just in case that's unclear to any of our younger listeners who haven't gone to a gynecologist yet there is no such thing as a flexibility test of your vagina <laughs> what does that so even we mean? then and we see him like lube his entire hand Fuck oh, you! Yeah. <laughs> i'm going to throw my computer out the window i'm yes. so upset by this and he just says, just relax. And he says, you're very tight. And then. Oh, I hate this fucking motherfucker. I'm sorry. And then go on. he tries to pull it back out. But he can't. Oh. His hands stuck. Oh, no. And he starts screaming. And then she starts screaming and then she's trying to scoot away (laughs) and pulling him forward. And like she moves to one side and he's just like whipping around (laughs) inside her (laughs) vagina. And then we hear a crunch and he falls back and there are his four (laughs) fingers on the ground and he starts screaming. It's true. Vagina dentata. Vagina dentata. (laughs) Got to. Goodbye, motherfucker. See ya. And uh, she grabs all of her clothes, runs out, obviously. Cut to her riding home. 
And then a cop car is behind her. And the cop car asks her to pull over on her bike. And so she pulls over, sweating bullets, and then the cop cars drive past her. So she's like, oh, they were just wanting me to get out of the way. Then coming the opposite direction, she sees Toby's Jeep. She's like, Toby? And then the car drives past. It wasn't Toby's Jeep. It was someone else in there. She imagined it. So the cops, now we cut to the cops. Where they were headed was the lake. She follows them to the lake to see what they're doing. And there's divers in there. And they pull up Toby's body. Hmm. So we now cut to Dawn at home. And she's freaking out, calling for her mom. And her mom's not answering. And then she finds her mom laying on the floor, unresponsive, and starts screaming for help. Oh, no. Behind her mom is her brother's door wide open while he is actively backdoor fucking his girlfriend as she calls 911. Oh, no. He's a real piece of shit. So... Cut to her now in the hospital and she's asleep on her dad's lap and she kind of like wakes up from like a nightmare and the dad tells her to go home and get and get some rest. Uh, So we cut to her walking like a zombie through the wide open door of the house. It was just like left wide open and she hears her brother blasting metal and screaming at his girlfriend telling her to shut the fuck up. (sighs) So now we cut to her banging on the door of a garage. The garage door opens. It's Mullet, the guy who asked her out. Mm-hmm. And she's like, she's sobbing and she's like, I have no one to talk to. My mom is in the hospital. I have to turn myself in. I killed him and possibly someone else. And Mullet is like, What? <laughs> what no what's happening (laughs) and she's like vagina dentata and he's like i'm not following (laughs) he's like i don't even know the vagina minus the dentata yeah i don't know what's this extra saying dentata ma'am (laughs) ma'am ma'am and she's like It's what's inside of me. And she's crying and making no sense and talking about the ancient Greeks and early Christians and (laughs) Jews and Polynesians and Native Americans. And he just hugs her. Uh, And he's just like, what is happening? (laughs) So now we cut to her in his bathtub. And like it's the water's like completely opaque with bubbles. So we can't see anything and he can't see anything. And he comes in like really kind of sheepishly. And he's like, I'm not looking, but um, my mom takes these for her nerves. Kim, question number three. (laughs) What do you do and what does she do? Oh, no. Fuck. Um, I'm going to find out what they are first. Okay. And then make an educated decision. Okay. I think... She takes them. Unsilence my phone. (laughs) Just buy a bell. (laughs) That is two boxing ring bells. That's the one, two, but. Oh, guess what Eric bought me? What? A bell? No. Uh, no. 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 A bo- a standing boxy thing, to box a standy a bag. Oh, a, a whole bag? A, bag. a big bag? Where do you it's, put it? It's like it's like stands on a pole, and then just the top is like a little balloon bag thing, and you fill oh, the bottom. You just fill the base bag. with water. But it's not a speed bag because it is meant to like. Uh, it's a little bit heavier than a speed bag. I'm gonna anyway. need to see some pictures of this. Oh, it's really but it's neat. like a ball, mm-hmm. but it's big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll send you a link. Where are you putting it, this? It'll fit in our closet. Huh. So I'll move it in and out of the closet, which is probably going to be annoying. But anyway. Okay. 
So I'm gonna need uh, a picture. Yeah, I'll, I think I I'll know what you mean, but to, to me that's like massive. But maybe I I'm thought it would be something t- different. Yeah, he found it. So um, in the bathtub. Okay, she doesn't even let him finish the sentence. She just takes the pills and swallows them. No water, no nothing. Uh, cut to mullet. Now he's like lighting candles in his garage room. And she comes in and is like, where are my clothes? And she's like, I have to go to the police. And he's like, the pills are going to make you feel a little fuzzy. Um, so tomorrow you can go he's like you want them to take you seriously and he like seems genuine Mm -hmm. and she sits down and like kind of smiles and he pops some champagne uh and cheers and he says to the smartest prettiest girl I know and she looks around and she's like huh this is how I always dreamed it would be like looking around at the candles and stuff And then she kind of like woozily spills her drink and starts crying. And he just like hugs her and is just kind of like, I don't know what's happening. (laughs) So now we're going to need to do a real quick shifting of gears here because it's it was lightning speed that we now see her lying naked on the bed, smiling And he is touching her boob and using a vibrator on her. Oh. And she's, of course, enjoying it because vibrating vampires are delightful. Very much so. And Come on in. Then he kind of, like, puts it away, like, in a little box, but still looks very kind of, like, nervous. Like, this is very cool what I'm getting to do. And he pulls out a condom. And they start doing it and she's into it and then she goes we need to stop and he's like oh do you not want me to do you want me to stop and she's like no but you you'll want to stop and he's like no I'm conquering it I'm the hero and she like smiles so I was like okay here we go, I guess. So, okay, we're doing it. Uh, with This is all based very acutely in trauma, but everybody seems to be smiling, so here we go. <laughs> uh, okay, this all came about very quickly. Didn't feel a little rushed, but uh, here we are. Your mom's dying, and you were recently raped and then molested by your gynecologist, but I, you know... You, <laughs> you appear to be consenting, so here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. So now we cut to a tooth in tweezers in a lab, and we hear a doctor saying, we got this out of the stump of the penis. And then he says, he doesn't say this. He says another word that sounds like dentistry, but he says something like, dentistology or something isn't an exact science and I'm like isn't it though I you would think I think what he meant was like I dent like I think he's like a dental like, identifier identifying so people like, by their teeth isn't an exact science I, I yeah. think that's what he meant yeah but I just wrote dentistry isn't an exact science and I was like, like wait a minute pretty sure that is, that right? is. I'm pretty the, sure it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um, he's like, I, I, he's like, based based on what I'm looking at, I would have said that this from was from the Selakai sharks rays, and he's like, but the crown made me think of the cyclostomes, the lamprey. So these are all words I don't know of different animals that have these teeth, and he's like, see the serration near the tip, and it's a pointed tooth. It's a very pointed tooth, right? And, uh. The detective says, so it comes from a cross between a shark and an eel? And the doc says, no, because the rest of our tests tell me that it's human. (laughs) Now we have a quick cut. What's a a lamprey? You don't know? It's an eel, I think. Type of eel. Because he says 
So it's a cross between a shark and an eel. And lamprey was the only thing I didn't know. So I'm we'll, assuming that's we'll the post eel. Mortem. Yeah. Uh, so now we have a quick cut to a bloated hand on an examination table uh, with a purity ring on it. That it's Toby's hand. Sure. So now we cut back to Dawn having a grand old time. Boning mullet. Looks like she's been doing it for years. His penis is still intact. It all looks consensual. He has a very silly adolescent orgasm. And I was like, let's, you know, let's workshop that. Those sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he finishes and they both seem happy and still has his penis. So okay. it all worked out. Okay. They lay down. He kind of giggles. And she's like, what? And he's like, I just can't believe it. And she's like, I can't either. And she's like, I can't believe you're still alive. And they <laughs> snuggle and kiss. So end of movie. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so now we cut to an operating table. And it's the gynecologist on the operating table. And the doctors are about to reattach his fingers. He's still awake. And the doctor says, uh, are you sure you don't want to let us know what happened? And instead, the gyno grabs the oxygen mask himself and puts it on himself. Like, he's like, I Fuck don't want to talk you. about it. Fuck you. So, cut to her now, still at mullets, and she's <clears throat> admiring her cute little body in the mirror. Like, actually, like, looking at herself. Good, Good for her. It was so sweet. And she's my boob twin. Oh, it was crazy. Your I was like, I've never, twin. I've never met a boob twin before. Oh, that's so, lovely. So, yeah. So, and she's just like feeling herself. So we cut to her now coming back into the room with mullet and he's smiling and she puts her shirt on and says, you know, I, I do have to, I have to go to the police. And he kind of playfully puts the vibrator finger back on because it was like a little finger thing uh -huh. and like entices her to come back. And she does. Oh, my. She's a pro. She's a, she's a pro all of a sudden. So we so, cut to them boning again. Question. Sorry. So mullet knows everything. Mm hmm. OK. Yeah. Like the teeth <laughs> thing, too. Mm hmm. Yeah. She told him everything. That's why when she was like we can't do this. And he was like, no, I'm going to conquer it. Okay. Cause the myth, the, the, got you. the, the hero. hero. Yeah. So cut to them boning again. And she's, he's like, he's like sitting up on the bed and she's like on top of him. Uh -huh. And then the phone rings and he answers it. And he says, hello, as we speak, say hi. And hangs up. And she's like, what the fuck was that? And he's like, I made a bet. And he laughs and she's like, you made a bet that you would have sex with me? No. Oh, uh. And she's like, you made a bet when you knew that I had made a sacred vow. And he's like, it's not that sacred. And she's like, no, it was though. And he's like, your mouth is saying one thing, but your pussy's saying another. Oh, oh Kim, yeah. You want to bet? You fucking think so? Kim, what what do you do and what does she do? I'm going to vagina dentitis that penis right the fuck off. So is she hand in hand. Fuck you. Fuck everyone in this movie. God damn it. Yeah, and she does it consciously this time. Nice. She just crosses her arms, and we just hear chomp, and she's just staring at him <laughs> on top of him. Oh, my and goodness. And he's like, yeah. And so- uh, I can't believe how many people need to get their dicks cut off in this movie. So many like, dick deservedly people. need their dicks oh, yeah. cut off. Oh, yeah. And- uh, <sighs> We hear chomp and then she just hops off and is like, shit, and walks out and he's screaming and his penis is severed. 
And it cuts to her like opening up the garage door and she's just like some hero. And then we cut back to him. (laughs) And remember how like the penis anatomy and porno was really gross. This gives it a run for its money. Oh, wow. Because we we just see like blood spurting from where the penis should be. And then just like a blue bloated severed penis in front of him that he tries to put back on. (laughs) But he can't. (laughs) So he has like a little buzzer in his garage and he like buzzes it. And he's like, mom, to have his mom come in. You fucking yeah. loser scrot monster. You. All of these, like he lost his penis privileges. They all lose their penis privileges. Yeah. So cut to her now at the hospital to see her mom. And the nurse at the front desk looks at her and says, are you her da- daughter? She's like, mm-hmm. And then she looks at the other nurse and says, just go have a seat. So she goes and has a seat. Cut to her dad at home, and he's walking in to the brother's room, and he wakes up the brother. The brother has a girl in bed, the same girl, and dad sits down on the bed and is like, would you excuse us, miss, please? <laughs> so uncomfortable (laughs) and I just wrote such an overwhelmed dad Uh. like just so overwhelmed like you know that the son isn't like these you know that he has rules but like the son's just like yeah I don't Um, I'm not miss yeah and so uh the dad the dog is in the cage like barking as the dad is sitting on like the side of the bed and I just wrote, I hate him so much. And then the dog said, uh, the, the dog. The what dad does the dog says, say? The dog says, my owner is the worst. <laughs> um, the dad says, I want you out of here. And, the, and brother Brad says, so Kim finally couldn't take it anymore, huh? Old cunt making you kick me to the curb. And the dad smacks him upside the head as hard as he possibly can. Cut is, to is Kim the mom? Yeah. Oh. Cut to the operating table. <clears throat> Same operating table, but it's them reattaching Mullet's penis. <laughs> and the docs are like, there has got to be a story here. <laughs> <laughs> and then the doc looks down at the penis and says to the nurses, I mean, hardly seems worth it. And then they all laugh at how small his penis. Ah, oh, zing. cut to dad and brother back in the room and the brother is kind of like menacingly bouncing on his bed kind of just being like yeah I'm not leaving and at that point he kicks at his dad's head and his dad gets him into a chokehold and as he's in the chokehold the brother manages to open the lock of the dog cage with his foot And the dog jumps out and attacks the dad. (sighs) Cut to Dawn in the hospital laying on her mom's dead body. No. Yeah. Baby. So now we cut back to the dad and the brother. Mm. And the dog is on top of the dad, like, with his mouth around his neck, like, right here. But not, like, biting down. Like, clearly the dog was trained to, like, subdue, basically. Mm -hmm. And the dad is, like, begging his son to call his fucking dog off of him. And uh, the brother is just sitting on the bed and he's just like, why did you marry her? And dad is like, I I know. I, I know you loved your mother. And he's like, my mother? I don't even remember that bitch. And he's like, you made her my sister. I loved her dad. And he's like, she, she loves you too so much. And the brother's just like rolls his eyes, snaps his fingers and the dog gets off, off of him. And he yells for the dog to get back in the cage. What? So now we cut to the dad at the hospital 
with at the front desk with the brother's girlfriend standing there and they're both crying. Don comes up and hugs him and like looks at his neck where it was bleeding. So clearly like he came back to the hospital and Don was the one who was like, you miss, you missed her. Like mom's dead. Mm -hmm. The girlfriend is crying and she says, I'm so sorry. And Don's like, thank you. And she's like, she was screaming. I heard her, but Brad said to ignore it because she did that all the time. Oh my God. Don looks horrified. Question number five. What do you do and what does she do, Kim? Don. Okay. Got to wrap my brain around all of this. Feels like a lot. It's a lot, right? it's a lot to wrap. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot to wrap. Those past couple of minutes. Okay. Um, like in this exact moment or like in general, next time. Mm-hmm. Like- the clue that I will give you is the next word that I'm about to say is cut to. Right. Okay. So it's not like I'm going to do something in this hospital right now immediately. Um, okay. So, oh my God. <laughs> Don. Oh my God, Don. I just, I, I'm my little, my, my poor girl. Just, I know. Oh my goodness. I, I, I just, I'm really, really really want to set you up with some therapy my love oh yeah oh yeah this is tough but first let's um go kill your brother cool I think she's definitely going to because he fucking wanted he wanted a piece right yep and um I know what my vagina does So, by the way, did you catch that her vagina, the teeth don't engage when she's consenting and enjoying it? I did catch that. Yeah. Okay. Just. Yes. I mean, that makes sense. Totally. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. That's it. (laughs) Honestly, I wish we all had teeth. And then. Okay. Then I'm just going to say it right now. That was exactly what I thought where I was like, can you imagine how fucking different? Think like really different. Dive deep. How different the world would be yeah. if women's vaginas had teeth that engaged when they weren't enjoying themselves or consenting. consenting. Yeah. Fuck it. I mean, I mean, evolution. Let's be do this, bitch. Different. Give, yeah, come give on. us our teeth. Evolution. Where are my teeth at? Where are my teeth at? I think we need it. It's time. Yeah. Uh, time to have vagina teeth. Yeah, I think um, basically it seems like I'm picking up that my mom died because my piece of shit brother did nothing and like Mm -hmm. purposely, consciously did nothing. Correct. So I think I'm going to go fucking bite his dick off, but I'm going to kill him too. I'm just, I'm done with everyone in this movie. Is that both of you? Uh, Yeah. Two ding-a-lings. Double ding. So, so we cut to Dawn staring at her house, standing outside her house, staring up at it. Now we cut to her putting on mascara. Now we cut to Brad in his room, brother Brad, in his room with the dog in a cage watching some shit. And he does a double take. As he sees Dawn standing in his doorway, she says nothing. She just walks over and takes the cigarette out of his mouth, takes a puff. And I wrote Sandy from Greece style. <laughs> yeah, right. She's, <laughs> she's yeah. having a real she's, transition in this yeah, movie. Yeah, she's, she's really transitioning. And uh, the movie is an, old, is an old-timey Medusa movie. And she just kind of smiles. <laughs> and then she puts the cigarette out. And sits on the bed. And she starts touching his face. And then his chest. And he's just like. What is happening? And then she starts touching his little peewee area. And he's like. Why are you doing this now? Ugh. And she's like. This this would be a tough one to accomplish. I'm not going to lie. Like, I would be mid-barf mm-hmm. the whole time. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, are you afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, are you afraid? And he just shakes his head. And then she just climbs the fuck on top of him. And he's like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. And he flips her over and tries to do her in the back door. And she won't let him. And she rolls back over and lifts her dress. And he's like looking at it, like literally afraid. And he doesn't know like what to do with it. Like it's like he doesn't, he's afraid of it. And he then agrees. All of this is done without words. And they start doing it. And the dog is watching and barking and he's into it. And he says, see what we've been missing? Always knew it would play out this way. Ever since we were little kids and I, and then close up on his eyes, flashback to the kiddie pool. He's looking at her teeth in real time and remembers it wasn't her mouth that bit his finger. He tries to pull away. He can't. Then blood pouring out. She gets up. She stands. The camera is just bet- like she's standing and like the camera, it's just the triangle of her legs. And then a penis just drops out <laughs> yes! from between her legs. Uh, <sighs> Mother then gets out of her cage and Brad says, get her. The dog goes over, looks at her, looks down at the penis picks up the penis and the brother is like don't 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 the dog eats it Ah! and then spits out the piercing on the tip oh oh my god and he's just like "Ah!" and she just leaves bye yes don cut to her biking down the road in her white dress Cut to her stopped on the side of the road because her bike appears to be broken or something. Question number six, what do you do? What did she do? Your bike's broken. You're running away, clearly. Um, sweet, what? I'm on the road. My bike's broken? Yeah. What do I do? You got a little backpack. You're clearly like, I'm, I'm blowing this popsicle stand. See? Where am I going? What am I doing? Away. Probably out of the town where there's a wake of severed penises behind you. A a wake of sexual predators. Agreed. So both. Yeah. This town appears to really cultivate its sexual predators. The clue that I'll give you is like, it's, you can answer this as Kim. There isn't like something that has previously happened that would allow you, that would be a clue or not. Oh. You just, you're, have- you're running away from a town. You want nothing to do with this town. Your bike is broken on the side of the road. Do we have cell phones? Yeah. I just, I just, I don't know what I want right now. Mm-hmm. I think you want to be safe. I just don't know where I'm going. So that's really, really tripping me up. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's tough. I, I think that the, the emphasis is on. What are you running from rather than where are you going to? Right. And that's what I was wondering. I was like, am I scared of the police? I think you're scared of the police. I think that there is, you know, we know what, how easy it is for women to report sexual assault with proof. And right now, the only proof that we have is that you have chomped off a bunch of appendages. Right. So who's the poli- who are the who are the male police going to believe the terrifying toothed vagina or the brotherhood? <laughs> Fuck those motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I'll <laughs> call an Uber and uh, get out of town. I- <laughs> Start fresh. What are my dreams? What is- Go to, go to somewhere else. Yeah. What does she um, do? Maybe she... Uh, fuck. I either want to say she like... The, do they have Uber? Calls a cab or calls her little 
Christian friend who'd be nice, I guess. Oh, she's just going to call a cab. We're just calling cabs and get out of town. I don't know. Fuck it. That's one ding. Yes, please call an Uber or even a cab where there is some tracking of where you are and what system you are a part of. She just puts her thumb out. Hitchhiking. Oh, the old hitchhiking. Oh, no. The old hitchhike. Honey, honey, we've already been through too much. Yeah. So we cut. Uh, so um, hitchhikes. Dude pulls over. She gets in. Cut to her in at, at nighttime. In the nighttime. I don't. That sentence was hard. And she's driving down the road. And the car that she's in pulls into like a quickie mart. And the old man. It's like an old man driver and he turns off the car and she wakes up and he's just staring at her making eyes at her I'm so and tired he sticks out his tongue in a really creepy old man way oh yeah and oh it's real oh it's the yuckoest it is the <laughs> yuckoest I've ever seen oh, gross. and so she just kind of rolls her eyes and goes to open the door and he locks it she turns back to him and he's smiling, but literally just like, hee hee hee, hee hee hee. So she rolls her eyes, goes to open again. He locks it again. Sticks out his tongue. Kim, question number seven. What do you do and what does she do? Bite a stick off. We both bite a stick off. With our vagina, not our mouths. <laughs> yes ma'am so he's smiling at you in his creepy old man way she looks out the window and then looks back at the old man and smiles black the end teeth yeah I think we all need to evolve into teeth vaginas oh yeah Oh, yeah. That's what I, this was an educational film of the future. Yeah. yeah. Also, uh, teach about female anatomy. Teach mm -hmm. about consent. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't blame victims. Mm -hmm. uh, teach boys to not be terrible rapists. Yes. Uh, what else are we teaching? What else are we teaching? Uh, <sighs> subset is don't hitchhike. Um <laughs> Here's what a gynecological exam should look like and what it shouldn't look oh, like. Oh man, I'm um, that one. I don't know. Yeah, really it, it, it was heavy. Uh, let me count your points while you process. Hi, Sammy. So we heard a rumor that you're not signed up for our awesome Patreon yet. What? Where are you getting your bone con then? It's cool. It's fine. You can still subscribe. Just hit the link in the show notes or search for us on Patreon. We're right there. We've got all kinds of bone con. That's bonus content. We've got mini-sodes, post-mortems, and Q&As, all live streamed. Polls, prizes, merch, and just a general smorgasbord of KK Sam. So join us. Or else. Let's catch her in space. This might be your best score. <gasps> So, do you tell for Dead or Alive, you got four out of seven, so more than half. Wow. For your questions, you got 12 out of 14 oh, fuck plus yes. a bonus point. Oh, fuck yes. 13 out of 14 <sighs> for a total score of 17 out of 21. Oh, my God. You bit off so many dicks. So with many your vagina. dicks. I've you been preparing just... my whole fucking life to survive this movie. Yes. My whole fucking life I've been fucking preparing for this. Incredible. Like your vagina is oh like, my Ooh, I'm God. so full. God, it's like Thanksgiving dinner in here with all these dicks I, I just ate. So many dicks. Yeah. Uh yeah, you should watch it. It's it's cathartic. And uh Yes. And it's not comical. That's not what I mean. But it's definitely like absurdist, I guess. Right. I could see that. Um, I also thought it was just really interesting that like we don't ever see the vagina. We don't ever see the monster. You don't see the teeth at all? Ooh. We, see, we see the tooth. It's because 
It's because it's the unknown. Exactly. The unknown vagina. The yep. mystery world of the vulva. Yeah. Um do you know who who is the who are the filmmakers of this? Who's like the writer director? I will tell you in one uno momento. Um, thank you so much to our patrons. That was quite yeah. a journey. Quite I a journey. I think it had like it had like three or four times as many votes as the other ones. Yeah, uh, I, I I do feel. Um, what's the word at the end? Like I feel like a cathar- catharted, no, catharsed, like a success i wind i feel heroed at, at the, like i'm the Her- hero heroic no you feel heroic you no, feel victorious. but i overcame something you 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 it's cl- victorious is closer but it's not because also i revenged Over- a little yeah you mm, vi- i'll think uh, about it vindicated vindicated feels the most right yeah or catharsed, that's not a word, but, but it should be. No, vindicated, I think, is is the closest word. Yes. Got it. So it was written and directed by Mitchell Lichtenstein. Um, and I'm going to show you a picture. Do you recognize this guy? Should I? That's the brother from Nip Tuck. Oh, oh I do recognize him. I thought yeah. you were going to show me the Mitchell Lichtenstein, and I was like, should I recognize him? Oh, no. But yeah, the brother from the talk. Uh, um, I do recognize him. He played the brother here? Yeah. No, he played the brother in this other movie I was watching, but I just thought I'd show you his picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, was he the brother or was he some other fucking character that was a monster? You monster. He was the brother. <laughs> he was brother Brad. He got his dick bitten off. Everybody got their dick bitten Everybody off. Everybody got their dick. There's you got your dick bitten off. You, you got, got your, got your dick, dick bitten off. Bit off. Um, do you have anything else? That was teeth. Um, uh, I just have a lot of feelings, and uh, yeah, mostly that. I uh, was I right though? Like it was going to be tough, but then getting yes. there, it was. Yeah, yeah, you were right. It was triggering. We got there for yeah. sure. But yeah. vindicated at the end. Yeah. Or whatever the there. word, the right word is. Yeah. You whatever what I mean. that feeling is you're feeling, that's the feeling I <laughs> was feeling you'd feel. <laughs> feelings are feelings. Feel, feel, feel. <laughs> Let me bite your dick off. I, I really want teeth in my vagina. Like, I really, really do too. Bad. Well, I don't anymore. I, but yeah, there was a time. Yeah, I want teeth. No, I want teeth. Yeah, I want teeth in my vagina. I want teeth. I really want teeth. Yeah, I really want teeth. Uh, yeah, I just, when my mind was blown, when I really went down this mental rabbit hole of like all of the very intricate ways our society would be different if women had teeth that engaged when they were not consenting, like our entire everything existence on this planet would yeah. be so different. The whole world too. Mm-hmm. Every country, yeah. yep. the way things are done completely like completely, completely different completely different yeah just from some fucking bicuspids in our twats we really got to figure out this evolution situation we really do i need my granddaughter yeah. to have teeth vagina may, teeth m- may all our granddaughters have, have teeth, teeth in their vagina vagina dentitis is that what it's called dentita vagina dentita dentita yeah. dentata dentata, dentata. <laughs> yeah I uh, want some vagina dentata. <laughs> that was really fun. Thank you, patrons. Um, yeah, thank you so much. And thank you for listening, Burns. I hope you felt safe in my hands. I always feel safe because you're my best friend and I know you'll take care of me. I always will. Um, I love you so much. You're a very brave lady. Uh, go follow us on all of the things. Yeah. KK Sam podcast. Come see us over at our Patreon. Yeah. You can watch this video yeah. on our Patreon. And if you could write us a five-star review, that would be amazing. And we'd love you forever. Do that. And share us with a friend. And um, fucking support women. Eat a dick with your vagina. And be a good person. And fucking. Black Lives Matter. And wear a mask. We love you all. Yeah. This has been Kim and Cat Stay Alive. Maybe. So until next week, stay, stay alive. alive.
stay alive and bite some dicks. Motherfuckers. Put a ghost in me. I'm done. done.